pros and cons that I really have with um, Carrieville. In their orientation or they, um, in a module or whatever, they literally said you can work as much or as little. They're at ten ninety nine. Cool, fine, and dandy. That's no problem. So when you pick up your first shift, your first job, your first shift with them, when you pick up, you should be good. You got a little paperwork to do. Everything that's fine and dandy. So when you pick up, that's fine. Then you got to wait till maybe a day or so. Not even a day. Even almost 24, not even 24 hours to give, you know, to make sure you are good on everything you need to do, know how to do, that you say you know how to do. In the midst of all of this, you start picking up the same facility. You want to pick up the same facility. You hearing that they need help so bad. But when you get on the app, there's no hours on the app. You're going, where's the hours? So me being me, yeah, me being me, I went to the unit manager and asked, did she have any more openings? And or what shift? So she and lady act like, what shift? First or third is, normally I do a third shift. I know we don't want a third shift or more of a first shift. I can get in and get out. But lately, I've been like doing a third shift because I don't have to do all that heavy, heavy lifting. Turn, pull, water, you sleep. And the unit that I work on the last two days, the cough buttons was not on. Maybe turn somebody for a minute. Or I had to do a one-on-one. -on -one. Well, it depends on the part, the unit I had to work on. Oh, that's another thing. Work on a uh, different unit. Pick up a different unit. But when you pick up on a unit, you don't know where exactly where you're going. You don't know. Maybe all the way until 7.30 to 8 o'clock, that's when you get a text. Or go back into the app. And then you know where uh, what you need to work on. That's one of the reasons. The other reason is that there's no consistency. Even though they have staff and even though that you also use them travels too, but they only use nurses, LPNs and RNs on the unit that I was on the last two days. So they use the LPNs and RNs on the floor. But they need help on all three of us. L R C, L P N R N and C N A S. They need help on for all of everything. So, again, they literally said you can work as much or as little. We're ten ninety nine. And already since I've been working, I just made one thousand three hundred sixty eight dollars with them. But in the midst of all of this, it's not consistent that you know that you got to get up and go to work every time. There's a gap. For instance, I work Sunday. Ain't today's Tuesday. See that? I work Tuesday. I work Saturday. Today, Tuesday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. That's the three days. I pick up another show Friday. See how that big gap right there? Then the what I'm, what I'm really trying to say is when you're trying to go back to the same facility, their hours are not like consistent. Or Carvel don't put it out there as much. But you have other facilities that you really trying to or you want to work at you can do that too in that state so I pick up extra hours in another in another um, city 
but I have to drive or get on a wait list to see if they got some if they're gonna prove it. And then on another note, between the end of October, they doing a hundred dollar bonus. I received three hundred already. Just to, just to pick up the shift. But the other problems that I'm having, the consistency, the big gap while you're trying to pick up so many hours. Um they do a late post. I don't get them a notification. I gotta see if I can get a notification if I can get that. Go in my app and check in and see if I can get a notification. But then when you do get a notification or when you do try to pick up some hours, it's not on the same floor. It's almost on a different unit. It's the same couple of days before I was in the emergency department. When I posted the last one says stocking, that was the ER department I was in. And your shift can be varied. It can be a point eight, um, a eight hour shift, or it can be a twelve hour shift. And lately, they don't have so many of them. It depends on the unit, and it's been a lot of eight hours. I'm not complaining when it's an eight hour shift, but uh, bring me some hours. So now the last couple of them is already for be almost the end of October, and you think you can have that consistent. Again, I picked up some hours on the 27th. The next time I work from the 27th will be on November the 2nd. And then when you pick up at another facility, you got to get trained too. So, there's a pros and cons. The money changes at different locations, the amounts. Um, the shift stays the same. It'd be an 8 or 12 hour shift. But the consistency is not there. It's a gap, and I really don't like that now. It's, it's a gap. It is a big gap. When somebody's trying to be consistent with it, it it's a gap. It's a big gap. It's like a whole, almost a whole week gap. I don't, I mean, I like this, because it's right, I get the money like, in the next two days, but, to be consistent with it and actually trying to get the hours going, yeah, I don't like that gap. I like to work four days straight or at least three days straight, then off one, then another three back, go back four or three. Yeah, but that consistency is not even there. Oh, the other thing is you logging in, you clocking in on your phone. So if you eight minutes late, they're gonna ask you why you eight minutes late. Or if you clocking out 12 minutes late, they're gonna ask you to do the facility action. So you can write a little small little note in there. Why are you trying to clock out? Like, think that was Saturday. I clock out 14 minutes late from the time that I'm supposed to clock out. They don't clock you out, you gotta clock yourself out. So I got an email, a little text ready while I'm clocking out 14 minutes late. Did a facility action and I literally said yes. Well, they didn't really ask me. I, like I didn't have no choice. The words was one on one. I had to wait till my, my, um, somebody to relieve me. And my relief, it ain't come in or waiting for transportation for the client to leave. You know what I'm saying? So when they and then they don't take forever to verify your appointment. They have changed so you can change go in and change the time. So when you really clock out, so the shift start at seven if the shift start at eleven o'clock and you clock in the hour at eleven thirty, when you write that, you gonna actually get that eleven thirty. Clock out at eleven thirty. So your child your time and your amount changes. So you went from eight hours to maybe eight seventy-five niche. 
of that extra 14 minutes later. The other problem that I have, they want you to take a 30 minutes. You gotta tell them like y'all need to go take a lunch. Like I did two one-on-ones. I had two one-on-one uh, clients. Um, every 10 minutes I have to move around before I'm gonna sleep. They what didn't bother me. The facility didn't bother me at all. I knew what I was doing. Check and change. Ask the nurse, can they bring me two waters for my other clients? Um, clean up, like empty out the garbage. Um, empty the linen bag out their rooms. And stock up their little cart, whatever you use, replace the bag. Like the towels and nightgowns and the um, pads. But there was a little pros and cons with them. There's not a consistency where you could actually pick up as much. But I'm glad at the amount that I got. But when you really trying to hurry up and gain some money real quick, the consistency is not there. Not at all. So yeah, this is your girl the time. Click his right leave with notification. And I try to pick up extra, but I'm scheduled to go into another facility in a couple, 10 days, I believe. We'll see how that goes. Talk to you later.